memoirs, anecdotes, and studies show that people who traveled abroad experience personal growth, discover skills that they never thought they had, find passion for things that didn't interest them before, broaden their horizons, and expand, become other-oriented, and gain friends across the globe. Now imagine a world where everyone travels internationally, a world that requires everyone to travel, schools, corporations, organizations, and, corpora and organizations. Imagine a world that ensures that each and every individual gets to know or experience a categorically different country or culture. A world where people travel in order to be a better learner, contributor, leader, and an innovator. In essence, a world where we can all be Elizabeth Gilbert and eat, pray, and love. In the world of the future, people will be sharing their global experiences and visions and inspire others with their worldview. Students, for example, will study in Europe for a year, then volunteer in Africa, get an internship in Australia, and then work in Asia. And when they come back home, they will be exceptional, valuable assets to their communities. As a traveler who has spent four years in eight different countries, I learned to accept diverse truths without judging. At the age of 16, I spent an academic year in Washington State and then went on to experience Germany for a year. I gained priceless experience that improved my personal growth, that improved my understanding of other cultures and career study opportunities. I learned that even traveling across the United States leads to new discoveries. So if a person spent their whole life in a rural area, then experiencing urban lifestyle will give such an individual a rewarding life experience. So if this person grew up in Elk City, Kansas, for example, and went on to experience New York City, then this person will be better positioned to understand, to appreciate what it means to have an empire state of mind and what that means for such an individual back in Elk City can only be profound, especially if all seven people in Elk City experience the same <laughs> diverse experience, propensity for peace and nonviolence, confidence, increasing literacy and curiosity, willingness to explore the unknown are some of the attributes that describe people who have broadened abroad. Now imagine a world where there are no borders, a world where everyone is a global citizen. I'm not trying to suggest raising borders from the planet Earth, but physical borders led to psychological isolation. And I'm suggesting that encouraging broadening abroad of people is one way to diminish this negative externality of psychological isolation created by the politics of power. Yes, there are people with international backgrounds in almost every institution, but it's better to see once than to hear 100 times. This is the reason why we need to encourage international experiences in order to create an environment of educated people making educated decisions. It is of utmost importance to encourage this type of experiences. Now, I understand that some people do not have funds to travel internationally but even traveling to the opposite corner of the United States can give such an individual a new creative flow of juices in their brains. And by the way, Canada and Mexico aren't that far away either. So, we all know that new innovations come from our previous experiences. So in order to improve our brain's capacity to create we need to improve the quality of our experiences. We need to encourage our youth to broaden themselves for tomorrow since they are the ones who have future in their hands and the shift in paradigm will start with them. So according to Scandinavian Journal of Education Research, even short-term study abroad benefits personal growth, global awareness, career study opportunities, and over the course of six years, 347 students 
participated in research designed to weigh the impact of international exchange. And participants had to evaluate and estimate the personal growth that they gained since there is not really a way to, pra to practically weigh the impact of international exchange. So they had to participate in a series of scales of evaluations. And the mean for all students was 3.5 on a scale of 1 to 6. And in the list of benefits, students had improve, improvements in speaking in a foreign language, self-confidence, and willingness, courage to go to unfamiliar places. And of course, when there are benefits, there are challenges. And challenges included practical, mental, legal, and, un and administrative challenges, barriers. And among all of those barriers, students noted that mental barriers were the most challenging, including lack of confidence when speaking in a foreign language and homesickness. But of course, as the time went on, those students grew to be stronger, and those challenges turned out to be benefits. The impact of international experiences is too beneficial to neglect. We need to encourage those types of things and make them compulsory as they decrease violence, improve our creativity, and urge people to take actions in unfamiliar situations, which eventually shapes them into global citizens. Local citizens are usually too comfortable to be motivated to change things, while travelers see the need, see the urge to survive and take measures. So in order to create this generation of unique individuals with an urge to make the world a better place, it is important to realize that international traveling remains that missing puzzle piece in building the world of the future. Hostile environment, negativity, racism, and discrimination all starts from fear, fear of the unknown, fear of the unknown other. And the only way to diminish this fear is to go and experience what we fear and realize that there is nothing to fear, that we're all the same and essentially want the same things, perhaps to eat, pray, and love. Imagine a world that is more connected than it is disconnected. As we're all internationalized with shared experience that nurture our common humanity. Thank you.